Welcome to the second part of my tip and trick on bolted connections. In this instance, we're going to look at bolted connections using a blind connection type. So like before, I'm going to use Linus as my placement method. There are other types very much like a whole tool. So linear, concentric, on point and by hole. We're going to go linear here and we're going to choose our start plane as the front over here. We need linear edge one for our offset. That's going to be 35. And we need another offset, that one's also going to be 35. And we need a blind start plane, which is going to be that edge over there. Right, I'm just going to change our orientation a little so we can have a look at what we're actually getting up to. Right, so what you'll see is that's where we're starting from down here. And there's our blind start plane, and that's sort of a tapped hole on the other side. Right, so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to click to add a fastener from our content center and I'm going to go and grab a DIN bolt. Right, it puts it in for me and it actually lengthens the depth of the hole. And again, as before, I'm now going to go and say, I'm going to put in a washer, go and choose my washer, and in it goes. And we can then create a favorite if we wanted to. So, like before, we can make this bench bolt blind. And we can say OK, and that'll then generate our bolted connection for us. Right, so there's my bolted connection, and in it goes. What you also notice about these components is that if I actually open this part, okay, it's physically gone and drilled a hole through it. And you'll notice I've made a mistake over here. So we might want to update this um, and get the hole through the middle of the actual component. So we can go back to our bolted connection and we can say edit using design accelerator. Okay, we just zoom back in over here. And you'll see that the 35 offset's going from over there. So we can say, well, linear edge 2, we'd like to use that edge over there. And that's going to be 35. Right, that all moves over and we'll say OK. This will now update, move to the middle, and just save that. And once that's saved, we'll go and have a look at the actual part. part. And you can see that that hole is now dead through the middle. Okay, because we've saved a favorite, we could obviously go in again and just place that favorite. So we can say we want to use the blind type choose the face, first linear offset is going to be 35 again, second linear offset also 35, and blind start plane over there, and we'll just go and choose bench bolts blind, hit set, and say OK, and in they go. Right, last thing while we're looking at bolted connections in general, um, you can go into any bolted connection, either when you're placing them or after the fact, and you can create calculations as well. So there's a number of bolts design in there, there's a bolt material design, and there's a check calculation design as well as a bolt diameter design. And once you've filled in your design criteria, you can hit calculate, and you either get a message saying that the design indicates a design compliance, or if you have some ridiculous numbers in there and you run a calculation and it fails, you'll obviously get some feedback so in this instance the safety requirements not met etc etc and um, all of this information is based on our engineers handbook and you can even get a report out of there which you could print off and send to a client maybe and obviously this this information is contained inside of your model inside of that bolted connection thanks for having a look